Good afternoon, Kendrick. How you doing? Good yeah, I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Uh, so I wanted to ask you about your, your energy uh, at practice. Uh, so you're dancing out there today like most days. Uh, where do you get the energy every day to bring that to practice? Uh, man, honestly, I would just say I'm enjoying where I'm at in life, you know. I'm enjoying the moment, um, everything that I've been through in life. And just taking it day by day, man, you know, really enjoying the days. You know, it, it don't get no easier if I'm pouting around or coming out here with a bad attitude, you know, it doesn't help anything. So um, I've just been like this all my life, man. Uh, and just, and just staying, you know, keeping that kid friendly energy in me, man, and, and enjoying the game. Cause it is, it's hard already, as we all know, um, it, it's already tough. So to be out there with a bad attitude and, and, and not have fun is what I try to avoid, man. You know, if, if it's not fun for me anymore, it, it's going to be harder. So I just try to get my guys going, you know, bring energy. So my guys be like, well, well, he, he can do it. I can do it and stuff like that. So uh, energy is just always good, man. It helps guys play better, practice better, feel better. And, and, and that's just what it is. So that's just how I've been. Do you feel like your teammates count on you to bring that now? Yeah, no doubt, man. It's definitely, you know, if I'm not smiling and, and joking around, it, it, something's wrong. So I've actually had a point, you know, here when I was, learning the playbook, you know, sometimes I wouldn't do some things right. And that's the times I'm like, okay, I can't just be joking around, you know, this, I need to fix something with myself. So I'm not going to be joking around, but once I'm comfortable, now that I'm comfortable and a lot more in sync with the team, you know, I'm, I'm definitely more relaxed, can be myself more now that I'm growing a lot more with the team. Thanks, Kendrick. Yes, sir. The next question, Evan Lazar. Hey, Kendrick, how you doing? Yeah, man. I'm doing good. Bless, man. Good, good. Um, I wanted to ask you about Janu, and you know, we obviously see him on game day, but we don't get necessarily get to see him at practice. And I was just wondering, you know, Hunter said yesterday that he feels like Janu's breakout is coming, that he can feel that Janu's making progress and getting closer. Do you see that out at practice with Janu that he's you know making plays out there at practice, and it, it might be coming for him in the game? Yeah, man, Janu has been a hard worker since he got here, uh, since OTAs. And, uh, you know, it's just how the game goes sometimes. And we all have good games, bad games. We all have good practices, bad practices, or whatever it may be. But it's all about performing on Sunday. And like you said, his time is going to come. It's just a matter of time. And for the new guys, you like, we're still getting comfortable. So I'm not saying he's not comfortable, but it's just we're still molding together. You know, this is our rebuilding year with new players joining former players so it's just about us building chemistry and macking him being on the same page all the time every time and, and that just comes with growing through the year and we've been growing as a team very well so I feel like John yeah like you said his time is his breakout game is coming and we've already seen flashes of him but you know Josh does a good job of spreading the ball around to all of us so you never really see one guy going crazy more than one guy or having more you know a lot more than one guy it's like we're playing a team game and that's how we need to play. So John who understands, you know, it's not his job to be Superman for us. It's not my job to be Superman for us. It's just yeah. if the game comes your way more than me, then we need you to step up that there much more. So right yeah. Hey, Kendrick, Kendrick's muted, just FYI. Yep. He, did you hear anything I said, Evan? Yeah, yeah, I got, you got we got like 90% of it. I really appreciate <laughs> the answer. Uh, the other question I just wanted to ask you quickly was, uh, how do you guys get the running game going? I, I, I know that you're not a running back or an offensive lineman, but obviously the receivers can help out there too. Yeah, no doubt, man. Uh, obviously, you know, we need a, improve our run game. And uh, as we got, you know, guys down, um, it's an opportunity for guys to step up. And that's how, you know, we need to think about it. It don't come down to who's down, it come down to who's stepping up. And uh, that's what I love about our coaches here. You know, they're, that's what they're worried about. We're, we're rehabbing the guys that are down and really pushing the guys that are stepping up to, you know, get what we need. And they've been doing a tremendous job. Shout out to those guys, even last week, coming in, you know, not really knowing 
uh, what the plan is and, and then learning the plan. And they did a really good job. So I think that's just what it is uh, carrying over from last week because I feel like we did run the ball pretty well. Uh, overall, we played pretty well. And the run game is where it started. So uh, those guys that are stepping in, just the same thing as last week, um, playing your role and, and excelling at your role so we can have team success. Thanks, Kendrick. I appreciate it. Sure. Next question, Chris Ryan. Hey, Kendrick, how are you? Chris, I'm blessed, man. Good. Um, wanted to ask you about something Bill said earlier about the Cowboys game. This having to be, you know, your best game of the year. Do you agree with that, that you have to play your best? And what is that? What does that look like from an execution standpoint? Um, I would say, yeah, that was definitely my best game statistically. But, um, you know, I don't really get into none of that. Um, It's really just playing my role and playing the plays that come to me, that I know that are coming to me or may come to me as hard as I can to get the best result. Um, But I'm definitely familiar with uh, this team. Like, like I've played against them and uh, just ready for the, the opportunity, man. You know, they're a good team. Solid, solid DBs. They got Trayvon, you know, he's leading the league in, in interceptions. So just trying to avoid stuff like that, giving them easy plays. Uh, a lot of plays I've seen on, on them were just guys making mistakes, not running good routes and stuff like that. So um, I would just say being in the right places at the right time, uh, having my timing right with Mac uh, will bring, you know, success. And uh, us at Wideout have, and everywhere have been winning pretty consistently. And so it's just about us executing and, and making the plays we need to make. What's the confidence like for the offense at this point where you guys were able to make plays down the stretch of uh, the Houston game, got into the end zone late, Mac executed. Did you guys need to, to see that, particularly, you know, when you're struggling a little bit in that game and you guys want to see results? That's a great question, man. I feel like that game was just meant to happen and meant to go the way it went for us to move in the direction we need to go because – you know, we started – the game started with them having the ball for a whole quarter and was just so weird for the offense, like sitting there, bodies getting relaxed. And um, just the way we stayed in the game the whole time was very important. You know, we didn't give up. We didn't lay down and just let them take off with the lead. You know, they didn't really do anything uh, crazy with the offense. It was just a couple of big plays that they made, and we played the game out, you know, made some plays on special teams. Shout out to them defense and offense all complimentary football through the game and we ended up you know finishing better than they started and that's what we needed you know because we've had games where we've been close and just not a finish as good we started good but not finished so that was kind of close to a a complete game but we still can start faster and uh finish kind of the same way you know that's the plan but uh, that I I would say that's what we need to do is find our complete game and, and our confidence has been going high because, you know, we're doing it at practice. If we can do it at practice every day, it should be really easy at in the game. And Bill does a really good job of making practice hard for us, putting us in hard situations. So we're not shocked when we get to the game. And, and that's what I love about it here most, man. I've, I've learned how to just play every situation out because I've been going through every situation in practice with Bill and how he runs it here. And I just, I appreciate it because when I get to the game, I'm so comfortable and got to have it fourth down or, two minute situation. I'm in more shape than I've ever been and stuff like that. So we're just, we're confident all around because we're doing everything at practice. Just a brief follow up on that. Um, is, does it difficult at times for players? You mentioned, you know, Hunter and everybody else and Janu. Is it difficult at times, do you think, to assimilate into this offense because of how complex everything is and how, you, how much is being asked of you guys? Yeah, so man, no doubt. Like, expect it maybe? Yeah, that's a great question, too. He, like, it's tough. It, as we all know, football is tough in itself. So for us to learn a new system and amount of time we have is tough. But we're professional athletes. You know, we're paid for a reason. We're here for a reason. So it's it's us and the coaches working together to meet at the top of the mountain. And that's what I feel like everybody has bought into here. And we're seeing the results slowly but surely. And it's never going to be perfect. But the more we strive for that, um, as a team, as, as individual players, the better the team is all together. So I would say everybody has bought in how they're supposed to. And the game, the, the record doesn't really speak for it right now, but in the building, we know how we feel and where we're headed. So uh, it's just about keeping up those, those positive mindsets about what we're doing and where we're trying to go. Thanks. Sure. Last question, Mark Daniels. 
Kendrick. Um, yeah, I, I certainly noticed with, with you, you're, you're very upbeat and positive. And you mentioned something about, you know, your, your upbringing. And I think the question I wanted to ask is just like, because how long have you been this upbeat and positive? Has this sort of always been you or has this been sort of a change or a maturation process as you've grown? Yeah, I like that question, man. I, uh, like I said earlier, it's just who I've been uh, since I was younger. And uh, once I got to the league and, and, and reached my dream goal, you know, it, that's when it was like, bro, what, what, are, what are we pouting about? What are we sad about? You know, uh, not saying I have everything perfect going off the field, not saying, you know, everything is all glitz and glamour. I have my down days, of course, but uh, anybody in the world would love to be where I'm at. And that's how I think every day, you know, there's plenty of kids out there that are trying to get to exactly where I'm at. And uh, even to come here and, and the Patriots to set me for who I am and, and, and do the things they've done for me is just, it's just a dream come true, man. And like I said, it, it's not easy keeping this energy, you know, because we all go through emotions. We all feel ups and downs, but we are in full control of what we smile, how we smile, how we act, how we, you know, whatever it may be, we're in control. So that's my mindset, man, is, is come out here, be positive and good things happen. And ever since I've thought like that, I've seen myself, you know, gradually elevate and I'm not going to change because if I do, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually do that because I'm not being myself and I'm not thinking positively. So that's just how it's been, man. And I'm blessed to have an attitude like that. Even my teammates see it on me and they're, they're kind of shocked, like, bro, this guy's weird or what's, what's wrong with him. But it's just me being a team player, you know, wanting my teammates to, you know, if you down, bro, I, hopefully I can bring my energy to help you wake up or get you going a little bit. And that's just being a good team player, in my opinion. Good stuff. I know we enjoy it. Thanks, Kendrick. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kendrick. Yes, sir.